We have lots of action coming up today in the second legs of the Euro Cup. So let's roll some highlights from those matches, and then we will also have a lot of Premier League scores to catch you up on. So this one was going to be an important match for us. Gerber making his start, as we talked about last episode. Uh, he gets the header at the near post. Then Gerber couldn't get over fast enough, but it was not his fault getting beaten over there. I believe that. Uh, actually, it was. He was too far over because he is playing on the left side. That equalized for Ingolets. They took the lead as Solis went down and Jacko dinked him. But remember, we had a four-point advantage over Ingolets, and we needed to keep them at bay. And there was a set piece, Hildon with the header, and that equalized at two. A good ball into Mark inside the box. He beats the keeper. And that made it 3-2 Lester. Jasufi looking to pick a pass out. He gets it across the keeper, and it's Cesar playing up top in the number nine today. And he makes it 4-2. And Mark into the box, holds it up, lays it off. It's Menza, and he gets his left foot on it and beats the keeper at the near post. 5-2 in the 83rd minute. Ingoletz. Trying to get something back. A flick on header. Gerber misplays it. And Jacko beats Solis with a shot. And that made the final 5-3 with Jacko getting a hat trick. Pascarello was injured. He'll just be out a couple of days. But that win automatically qualifies us for the second knockout round. And that means we'll be able to play some youngsters uh, in or younger players or, or reserves in the final two matches, we get 670,000 and Baffer with 11 key passes. So let's get up to the Ajax match for the next highlights. So with the win over Ingoletz, as we mentioned, we have secured promotion out of the group stage. So we're going to play some pretty rotated sides, I think. We beat Cardiff 5-2, Eric Graves with a hat trick, and we beat Middlesbrough 3-1, uh, Felipe, Baffer, and Graves scoring in that one. So we're back against Ajax today. Up in the competition, uh, Arsenal did lose their last match, so we have clawed back within one point. Uh, Leeds is still running with us uh, with 28 points, so their new manager. Uh, doing a good job, Victor Stetsenko, and he was just hired uh, this year, July 9th, almost six months. And so he's been doing a good job, it looks like, since they sacked their last manager uh, after about a year and a half. So doing a good job there. I was just going to spot check our training and youth facilities, so everything looks fine there. Let's go ahead and get in and see who we're going to play today. We really don't have a lot on the back line, just, you know, playing three. We, we've got four or five guys, but we do have some injuries right now. Lick is still out injured. Uh, so McNeil's actually injured as well, but he comes back to full training in three days. He's there if we have an injury. I'm thinking about going with this tactic. So we played it before. We've had success. I did play it in that last match against Middlesbrough, again, due to the injuries on the back line. And you can see what we've got going on back there. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's see if we can develop it a little bit more. Uh, the position role duty is awkward because it is a little different. But uh, El Batabi. So let's go with El Batabi in goal, a back four of Wheel, Gerver, Fowler, and Hildon off to the right. Uh, Fowler, I believe, eh, he can pass okay. Uh, George Alexander and Felipe in the mid, Vitor and Rowe on the wings, Cesar and Mapasi up top. 
yeah, because, you know, all these guys are starters for us. So that would be a rotated squad. And that was the goal. <laughs> that was the goal of this match was to play some guys that didn't normally start. We've been on a good run. Go out and impress me. And we go with a direct kickoff highlight. So even though we're favored to win this, I don't know how well that being favored. Oh, look at that ball in. Oh, my goodness. 17 seconds in, and we have carved Ajax open. They're protesting the goal. Could be an offsides. They are checking VAR, and it's disallowed. Oh, my goodness. I'll be interested to see the replay. Because we just, yeah, Maposi was just a step. Actually, both of them were just a step off sides. Oh, armpit hair. Just an armpit hair. And now we're on the back foot as Ajax has a highlight. I'd like to play. Oh, there's a good tackle by Alexander. He's bringing it into the attack zone. He's got a runner, and Cesar gets his fifth of the season, and there's no protest on that one. And it's 1 0 Lester in the eighth minute. That is good news. I'd like, I, I think I would rather play this tactic. This is a tactic, if I remember correctly, the year we won the championship, the first year uh, with Leicester, that we, uh, oh, and Roe is just off the mark. Uh, looks like he was off sides again. Yep. Uh, but we had what? It was like a plus 125 goal differential there. There's a through ball. Maposi's on this one. And he can't get it past the keeper. So, you know, our top two, you know, our top two strikers not in there. I have a feeling we'd have a few more goals. El Batabi gets beaten by Kane Davis. I'm thinking about recalling Rui Ramos. He's not playing as much as he's supposed to be uh, on his loan spell. So I might recall him. I don't know, because that just gives us another player up in the attack that we don't have anywhere to put. <laughs> Right? Maposi tracks that one down. Hildon. Oh, Roe can't find a ball through Sakura. Hildan making a run. There's a header, and it's Maposi. And I don't see the side judge there. I think that's going to stand. And Maposi gets one in the goal. Right. Yeah, he did a good job staying on sides. 18 minutes in, we've got three goals in this one. Both sides with three shots. All right, let's encourage him. All right, Alexander goes up for the header, clears it away, but Ajax on the ball. They're going to rebuild from the back with a route one. Gerber gets up and heads that one clear, so that's good. And that has been something a couple of our center backs have been struggling with. Maposi lays it off, and Rowe takes a crack that goes high. I just haven't seen the dominance out of this tactic that we that we had before. Elba Tabi makes the save. You got to keep in mind a lot of these guys aren't our first eleven, so that that could be something to do with it. The other thing is we're playing some guys out of position because we've been playing that three center back set for a couple of seasons now. And we got rid of all of our left and right backs. So <laughs> that, uh, that does make this a little more difficult. And the, really the only reason I'm playing this right now is due to the injuries in the center back setup. 
Maposi's in to the touchline. He's taken down, and they gave a foul. They're going to go look at VAR. It was kind of light, but we'll take it if it's good. You got the one guy running around like a little chihuahua barking at the official, but they do award the penalty. Maposi's going to step up to take it, and he puts it in right at the post. That's a nice finish by him. Sixth goal of the season, his second of the game, and that makes it Leicester 3, Ajax 1. So if we're going to bring this tactic back in, we're going to have to really look at bringing in some more center backs, um, um, some, some full backs or wing backs in the transfer window. By the way, we have made some transfers that'll come in in the upcoming window, but I've been focusing on English youth. So we got one player that we've way overpaid for because that's what you have to do with English players. Uh, and so we'll look at them in the transfer window. No big deal right now. But um, yeah, we'll have to... Uh, we, we've signed three or four young players that just are not, you know, three, three and a half stars, not ever really going to cut it. It was just more to get some more English kids into the system. And, you know, we paid, a, we got them on, uh, they were being released, but because they were not officially released, we're going to have to pay about a million dollars for each one. And then we have one that we brought in that's going to be, pretty expensive he's four and a half star potential do i want to pull anybody everybody's playing well i just kind of jumped in because i was at that 60 minute mark but let's let everybody keep going my got two goals cesar's got a goal we can let these guys go till their legs fall off probably uh let's give them some praise that might cheer them up a little bit felipe is uh, complacent, I believe. All right, Luke Rowe just went dead on us. So let's bring on, let's bring on uh, Pascarello. Actually, you know what? Let's bring Maposi back there. And then uh, let's bring Felipe up top and Jasufi into the midfield. Just shake it all up, right? There you go. We've got enough of our guys that can play attacking wingers, but we do need some more fullbacks if we're going to go back to a four-back set. So we're probably a year away from that. Hilden with the defensive play knocks it away. Over the top, Cesar runs onto it. He is around his man, and he blocks it off the woodwork. Oh, got to do a little bit better there, Cesar. Sufi heads it down. Cesar with a poor pass. Vitor has to go back on it. Wheel makes the run. That was real good. And he put it right in at the edge inside the six. But nobody was there making a run. And oh my goodness, Dozberg gets a goal. And we looked pretty bad there. Still, it's 3-1. They're just letting the clock run. It's weird to see a team losing by two goals doing the time killing, right? Are we going to ask, a, can we ask for a yellow card here? <laughs> I mean, you know, come on. Head it away, blow the whistle. Kierks beats Felipe to the ball. We're into the fourth minute of stoppage time. I'm just waiting for the whistle. Over the top, it's Felipe. Oh, and there's a takedown. What the hell just happened here? Okay, I have no idea what just happened. It said it was a replay of a disallowed goal. But, oh, that was disallowed. Interesting. So, yeah, that's cool. All right, well, a nice victory. Well done. They filled the away stand. So we are uh, now 15 from five. 
perfect. So we're going to go ahead and skip the last. I rested him already. Come on, man. He was really adamant about that, boy. He fired back at me quick there. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and skip the next group stage. So why don't we plan on coming back? How about Liverpool highlights and FA Cup third round? Unless we have uh, Euro knockouts uh, pop up somewhere in there. So we'll get a good run of uh, league games again. We'll skip over FC Mets. Uh, I've, I'll play a heavily rotated squad there, and uh, we'll come back uh, at the beginning of January with the opening of the transfer window. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, anybody we're looking at selling, maybe, and uh, we'll also welcome in all the new players that we've signed. No big deal, except for the, the one young player, and none of them are going to be in or around the first team. They're going to go into the youth squad. Uh, so that's going to be that. So that's the plan. Early January, FA Cup third round match against whoever we play, barring coming back for Euro Cup knockouts whenever that starts up. So do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe for daily football manager content here on the channel, and we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.